Hey guys, Zoll here, and today I want to go over chemical engineering versus chemistry, and what's the difference between the two, because to a lot of people who aren't experienced in either field, it can be an easy mistake to make. There is crossover between their classes, and in some cases they deal with similar things, but there is a huge difference between what these majors actually do and what these professions actually do, and kind of what the focus of the major and the classes you're going to take in each of them are going to be. So I kind of want to make a video breaking down what exactly chemistry is versus what exactly chemical engineering is, and hopefully it can help you decide which one kind of suits your interests more and so you can make an informed decision on what major you pick. With that, let's hop right into it. Now first things first, if you want a paycheck and a higher salary, go with chemical engineering. They're going to tend to make a lot more than most chemistry majors, and it's usually easier to find a job as a chemical engineer when you're just coming out of college. So if that's what you're in it for, go with chemical engineering. Although I will say there are probably easier majors if you just want to make money than either chemistry or chemical engineering. First things first, let's go over what chemistry is all about. And chemistry is kind of what you think of when you think of the classic scientist, you know, pouring colorful liquids together, having some explosions come out of an Erlenmeyer flask, working in a lab all day. That is kind of what chemistry is. It's the study of matter, what makes up everything on Earth and how all these different materials and elements interact with each other on a super, super small scale, going all the way down to atoms and subatomic particles. Although the smaller you go and the more subatomic you go, it starts going more into chemical physics and uh, more on the physics side of things. There is kind of an intersection between physics and chemistry called physical chemistry or chemical physics that goes into those really small scale things. But for the most part, chemistry is revolving around atoms and molecules, how they interact and how they make up everything around us. It's really the study of how these micro scale atoms and the properties they have on that small scale almost translate to a larger scale. And you can see this in the forms of hydrogen bonding with water molecules and how that translates into having surface tension on water in a macro scale. As far as what you're going to be doing in a chemistry major and career, it's really gonna be a hard science and you're going to be going into the cutting edge of things, working in research and finding new compounds, finding new laws of chemistry. Doing chemistry is like doing hard, hard science. It's when you're going to actually be discovering new things, kind of working on the cutting edge of science. If that's what you want to do, if you want to be a scientist working in a lab, discovering new things, then chemistry is the major for you. It's all about research, either as a professor or student or PhD, working on your own kind of research project that you're interested in, or even doing research in R&D in the industry or government. Chemistry is all about doing research and finding new things, basically. And that's when we get into chemical engineering. What separates chemical engineering from chemistry? Because they both use chemistry. Chemical engineering, to kind of put it in simple terms, is taking the stuff that chemists have discovered and figuring out how to make that work on a larger industrial scale. A chemist may figure out how to do a re new reaction in a lab, but they're doing it on a very small scale, just kind of discovering that this reaction works. It's up to the chemical engineers to take everything they know about that reaction now and to make it work so they can mass produce this chemical. You can think about it sort of like a chemist may have discovered how to make nylon in a small little beaker, but chemical engineers are the people who designed the facilities to make nylon on a massive scale so it can be used in products all over the world. Chemical engineers are involved in chemical processing from like the ores and raw materials of chemicals to larger scale stuff like how to make pharmaceuticals on a larger scale. So to put it simply, 
chemists discover the new reactions and chemical engineers figure out ways to make these reactions work on a large scale so they can go and be exported to everybody. Now, chemists are doing this cutting edge science and chemical engineers are also doing some cutting edge stuff, but they're working more with the industry. Like how do we make a reactor or piping and how do we get the right temperature in this large area to produce the chemicals we want in the most efficient way possible. They're figuring out how to make things cost effective, environmentally friendly, etc. So if you want to kind of work on the industry side of things and figure out how to make chemical reactions efficient and work on these large scales and these large chemical plants, chemical engineering is for you. If you want to discover how to make these reactions in the first place and discover new reactions, then you're gonna wanna go with chemistry. Chemical engineering is like very fancy plumbing with lots of math and, you know, thermodynamics, etc. to get maximum efficiency out of reactions. And you can make a lot of good money, it's a good career doing this, and it's super interesting, some of the stuff chemical engineers do. It just depends, do you wanna work in the industry and that kind of macro scale approach to chemical reactions, or do you wanna work on the more lab scale and more cutting edge of reactions? And this is also gonna reflect what sort of classes you take. Chemical engineers aren't gonna be as in depth with their chemistry classes. They're going to take a lot of the same like general core classes that chemistry majors take, your general chemistries, organic chemistries, uh, very rarely, I think chemical engineers might actually take physical chemistry, but for the most part, they don't need that micro scale understanding of like quantum mechanics. They will be taking thermo and like fluid stuff, mechanics, etc. A lot of the more engineering side of things, they're going to be taking a lot more engineering classes. Uh, a lot of like fluid dynamics, they need to understand how this stuff works on a macro scale. And so they're going to be taking these core chemistry classes like gen chems and orgos and then after that they're going to be taking a lot of engineering classes to figure out how these work, how you actually make a chemical reactor, how you get the piping and temperatures right. Well chemistry majors are going to go a lot more in depth on a lot smaller scale. Chemistry majors are going to take things like going into the quantum mechanics, chemistry majors are going to take advanced classes of your organics and inorganics because chemical engineers, it's less important that they know the fundamentals of kind of how these things interact because they're not creating new reactions. They don't need to know the, the like math and fundamental laws behind some of these things and go that in depth to do what they're trying to accomplish. Instead, they're going to move into the engineering side, which chemistry majors don't touch at all. So I hope that video was helpful. I hope it gave a quick explanation of what's the difference between chemical engineers and chemistry majors. Of course, there's a lot more depth to both majors, but this is just a quick overview to kind of get you a, a little footing on understanding the difference between chemistry and chemical engineering. If you liked the video or if it was helpful, and if you're deciding whether or not to be a chemistry major or a chemical engineering major, let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.